Hello everyone, this is the Super Week Maker and today I'm making another video to talk about um, a custom made unit that someone has requested. I'm holding the hair. This is Japanese high heat resistant fibers and by the way I'm whispering because everyone is sleeping. This is Japanese high heat resistant fibers in number 33 which is a medium um, reddish brown, a very beautiful color. And the measurement that the lady sent me is the circumference 21 front to nape 12, ear to ear, from front 11, ear to ear from top 12, etc. I will need the dude for that because he seems to have exactly the measurements that she requested. Like literally, um, her measurements match so much his head. So I'm gonna make the wig up and come back to you to show you what I did. So, small update. I have uh, laid the lace, as you can see, and this line will ensure that this is put straightly from ear to ear through the middle. And this is the Korean lace that I have, and this is BHD lace, which is still Korean, but it's much stronger. And I haven't stitched anything. I will stitch everything now and the wig cap is going to be ready. So the wig cap is ready. This is the front and I have the hairline marked. The seams turned smaller because I cut them. I didn't keep like a huge seam. And I'm going to reinforce it. It's actually double stitched. You can okay. see it now. I'm going to put double knots just in this strip here, here and here. And in the back it's even more obvious. What I did is I also reinforced them with um, sewing machine uh, threading. I just threaded it. And in the lower part from the inside I just placed this ribbon because this way the cap is going to be very strong in the edges without having to fold. And at the same time I'm going to keep like um, half a centimeter more lace in the edges so it's gonna be both strong like um, a, a wig cap that will have a fold and we will be able to put clips here because it's very strong now but at the same time we're gonna have open lace in the in the edges so if she wants to glue this down and be able to take the hair upwards she will be able to do that and of course I'm gonna have a small strip of single strand single knot hair here so yeah I'm pretty ready to start ventilating and I'm gonna keep you posted so the wig cap is ready I'm whispering because everyone is sleeping again and you can see that the ribbon looks very good in the back the seams are tiny there's an inevitable up seam here and these seams have only invisible thread um, hand sewn so they're slightly less detectable than that. And I'm going to start ventilating now. So the week is done finally and I want to walk you through the whole specs of the unit. You are going to see a time lapse video of how I created this unit by the end. I'm in mean the ventilation. But here's what. This braid over here is a full high definition neckline perimeter. This is the hairline, full high definition. This is the hairline. And this is the other full high definition braid in the back that I have. But if you wanna pull this up, you will be able to. Okay, because this is single strand, single knot. Then the whole body of the wig, as you can see, it's done in multiple strands per knot and I was spacing out so this was done like quite faster, like six to eight times faster than the, the high definition parting. Uh, this is the hairline. These are some straight strands that I put in the end that I just didn't include them in the braid and that's why it flies everywhere. I plan to remove the braids and brush it. And this is the top part. This is the full high definition area. Um, it's about 11 centimeter from crown to forehead which is slightly more than four inches because of the crown area the spreading of the hair 
and the width is also 10 centimeter which is like four inches which is the, the, the default typical for closures this is single strand single knot and the density is um, a healthy thick you know for because she's a young girl so she needs to have like a healthy looking head she doesn't want to have like too thinning hair and you can part it anywhere you want as you can see I'm gonna take out the breast and show you the last thing I want to do is first of all I'm gonna wash this unit to remove any uh, dirt that my hands might have imported while ventilating because it's summer and you know my hands can get sweaty so this whole thing just passed through my hands and then I'm gonna hit still the knots at least on the top the hairline and the neckline I don't think that I need to uh, hit seal these knots because uh, there are multiple strands so you won't see a huge difference but I might do that, that it doesn't matter back here what I really want to do that here it, it still doesn't matter up here as well but the knots are gonna turn invisible when I hit treat them and this is my signature in my wigs I always hit treat the knots and the good thing the bad thing about the synthetic hair is that you cannot bleach the knots but the good thing is that the synthetic hair is so thin that the knots can turn literally invisible and once you hit seal the knots they're there to stay because this holds the shape like the same way it holds the curl pattern the same way it doesn't unravel so yeah i'm gonna wash it i'm gonna wait a little bit until it gets dry and then i'm just gonna heat seal it and come to you with the braids undone the the length she wanted this she's gonna cut it to her uh until her neck or something I don't know exactly what she wants to do but this unit is very long you can see that all the hair have the same length this goes like as low as her waist I could say and the crown hair the top hair can go like past her shoulders so this is longer than what she wanted it's beautiful which she can do whatever she wants with it I don't know if she's gonna glue it or wear it unglued also the hairline if you have seen uh, it's not a strict line it's symmetrical but it's also not too it doesn't have an identity i already said that i think in the beginning of the video uh, because she didn't send me her head mold this is what i drew uh, this is an approximation of, an, of uh, a good looking female hairline i could say so it has a little bit of curves here here so it's all good so let me just take this out and show you okay so this is the unit um See that you can actually have it upside down and let me just oh this is not very easy and convenient for me but you can see how that looks now I have uh, seen a problem here the ribbon that I put the ribbon is not visible but what is visible is the stitching so I'm gonna try to I don't know what I can do for that She's not really gonna be using this for upside down do but it's it's a shame that I put the ribbon and now it's visible because of the stitchings oh uh, yeah this is a center parting that I have there of course you can actually you already saw that you can part it in other parts of the unit just like all of my units or you have to brush it that way so <clears throat> I'm trying to be on frame and at the same time um, manage the unit so you can see and you can see how long that is let me just see you can see how nice and layered it is uh, the density is not too thick here is natural thickness, I could say. Yeah. And also the knots are heat sealed, so nothing is visible. You can see how nice the hairline looks all around. And it's also all around the perimeter. But as I said, I have a problem with the ribbon. I'm gonna see what I'll do with that if I can fix it. Oh well. Um, she didn't really request that ribbon, so I could possibly remove it if I cannot restitch it with invisible thread because it, it was made with my sewing machine. So, yeah, it's all good. 
having a full days week means that you are supposed to be able to do whatever you want and of course you could have a little bit of a leave out or whatever you want to do here just to make it look a little bit more realistic like that And yeah, the parting is a little bit more prominent now because I just heat sealed it that way. But if you blow dry it in another, like this way, it's going to get, you know, kind of more fluffy. Or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't look good because it's a man, but you get the point. Okay, I want to make a really quick update. I have showed the unit to this lady and she just fell in love with it. And then I just asked her, do you want to put any clips anywhere? And she said, I don't need it because I don't have hair. So I then I asked her if she wants an elastic and she said, can you please put that? So this is what I did. I just put another layer of lace over here and here as well and then I attached an elastic from ear uh, above the ear to the other ear and as you can see I don't know if it creates enough tension you can see that it just wrinkles a little bit so it kind of clings towards um, so yeah it's not too much but you know it's gonna cling towards her head because this is kind of her head um, size so if by any chance she feels that this is not enough she can actually pull this a little bit like so and then I don't know somehow stitch this permanently like that and then this is gonna get like even more tension but right now I think it's pretty good and, uh, and nice the way it is and I'm gonna show you how it looks against my skin so I'm gonna brush it a little bit uh, you have already seen this quality in my other wigs, but I just want to show you how nice it looks against my skin. Am I on frame? I'm, I'm going to zoom in actually on this one as much as I can. So let's just, okay, I think this is good. You can see okay this is how it looks against my skin and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit you have already seen this quality on my other units like it's just that it's not so deep like it doesn't have like a huge parting area it's four by four in inches and I'm pretty satisfied with the outcome. She's gonna love it. I hope she, oh, although she has no hair, I just try to feel the inside of the wig, trying to see if there are any hard spots. This is a scratchy lace. It's not very, you know, skin friendly, but if she really f feels that this is not the best way to wear the wig, she can actually have a wig cap on the inside. And just because she doesn't have hair, it will protect her own scalp, not just the hair. So yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. This wig is ready to be shipped. And I'm gonna ship it right now to hair. Also, I forgot to mention that just now that it has this elastic band, it's even uh, more difficult for her to have it up going upwards because you can still now see that you don't only see the stitchings, you also see a little bit of the elastic band because I couldn't get one in skin color. So this is black, you can see that it's black. So I guess this unit will not be able to be lifted upwards. But the fact that this is high definition in the edges is a good thing because it will not show too many, too uh, huge knots. Like if I did like this bulky, it would be a little bit more obvious, but I think it's fair enough the way it is. So I'm ready to wrap this unit and send it to this lady.